everybody. Vincent Chacon, cabinet maker. My passions are family, architecture, and traditional woodworking. My family have been craftsmen in the Finger Lakes area now for three generations. And as a child, I grew up in the hip pocket of my grandfather, Salvatore. He always had projects for my brother and I. He learned to work with wood with his hands, and he made sure that we did also. These early years instilled a love and appreciation for the quiet shop, where all you hear is your home tool sharing through the material. Like many of my generation, I went away to college and moved to a city. But my roots to the Finger Lakes run deep. And it wasn't long before I returned to open my shop. When I started my cabinet shop, I was lucky enough to have my grandfather in my hip pocket. And his inspiration is evident in all my work. The knowledge he passed on to me is priceless and not commonly found in today's highly automated cabinet shop. My work ranges from period furniture to architectural millwork, custom kitchens and buildings. And for this, I draw on traditional woodworking techniques. I like to do things the hard way, the way they were done 200 years ago with your hands. I find this very gratifying. I'm heavily influenced by 18th century furniture and traditional American architecture. And whenever possible, I work with sustainably harvested local timber. Because I believe that the soul of a piece is tied to a place. The forest that it was harvested from, the mill it was processed in, the hands that created its form. In my remaining time, I'd like to share with you one of my moments of Zen. It's creating bench-made Windsor furniture. Windsor furniture first came to the colonies some 300 years ago from England, and soon took on uniquely American qualities in the hands of our cabinet makers. Various regions spawned different versions of this truly American furniture. It takes a couple days to build a Windsor chair. And I was lucky enough to have Dean Digital film this for us here today. You start with a log or two, and you move to a delicate, yet strong, stable, and functional piece of furniture. There are many different types and styles of Windsors, and all point to the piece's origin within the colonies. So sit back and watch as American furniture takes form.
Thank you all for having me.